This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna be trying out the Lavender Violence Dip Powder Kit. And I got this from Amazon. It says that it is a quick dip nail, odorless, flexible, and durable. So let's open it up and see what it's talking about. All right, so this is everything you get inside this kit. You get the base, activator, top coat, brush saver, and four dip powder colors. These jars are half an ounce, and I got the red to pink variations of colors, and look, I'm just doing too much, but <laughs> this is the deep red color, and then various shades of red and pink. You also get the instructions, and it has some step-by-step -step pictures telling you how to do the nails. And if you guys were wondering what's on my other hand, these are the Apre base color tips that I did in my previous video. I love how these turned out, like the color and the bling is just everything, but I will leave the link down below so you guys can check it out. So these are my natural nails and I decided since I do have a little bit of length, I'm gonna try doing the dip powder nails over my natural nails. So we're gonna do some prepping. Um, I just took off my previous set. It was the Kiara Sky Jelly Tip. So I have a little bit of residue and gel polish left over, but we are gonna take care of that. So after pushing back the cuticles, I use the opposite end of the cuticle pusher to kind of scrape up any of the dead skin, or in this case, gel residue. <laughs> And then I'm gonna take my hand file on the 180 grit side and I'm just going to lightly file the surface of my nail to take away the shine. And then I'm gonna use my cuticle clean bit to further um, clean around the cuticle area. Really getting in those crevices because we don't want our nails to lift. After all of that prepping, I'm just gonna use a hand file to lightly shape my nails. I wanna keep as much length as possible so I'm not going too crazy with the filing. I just want a simple square shape. So this kit did not come with any dehydrator or primer and I feel like that is very much needed when doing any type of nails. Um, so I'm gonna use my own. So first I'm gonna apply the dehydrator. And then the primer. Next I'm gonna take the base which is basically the glue that you use to adhere the dip powder. And I'm gonna start off on half of my nail first, applying the base and then dipping into the powder. I let the powder sit for about 10 seconds and then I use my fluffy brush to brush off the excess. And this is what it looks like so far. So for the second coat, I'm just gonna go slightly above the first one and apply the base and dip into the powder again. Waiting about 10 seconds and then brushing off the powder. And I'm just gonna continue to do that, uh, going back and back until I get to the cuticle area. And doing it this way, make sure that the nail doesn't come out super flat. It'll have sort of a curve to it um, and it won't have any dips or anything in it. So I do like this base. As you guys can see, I was able to get really close to the cuticle area without flooding it. And so that is always a plus when you're looking for a good dip powder set because sometimes the base is way too watery and you'll end up flooding the cuticle and the glue gets everywhere and it'll just be a mess. But I did about, I think four layers of dip powder and as you guys can see, it is not thick. 
<laughs> I don't know why people think that when you do layers of dip powder, it's going to be thick, but dip powder is thin, so you have to build it up. So I am just going to repeat that for all of the nails using the various colors of dip powder. I also want to mention that when dipping the nails, you don't want to go in like straight up and down. You want to go in at an angle, preferably like a 45 degree angle. Um, and that just ensures that you get a even coat of the dip powder. Because if you were just to stab your nail and go like straight into the bottle, you'll mess up and you'll see like wrinkles and stuff inside the powder. Ryan Little. <laughs> Listen. This coral color was one of my favorites. I really, really like how this one turned out. It's super, super pretty. Also, what I like about this dip powder is that it is really fine. So you don't see like any grains or granule pieces after you finish, like completely done. I mean, you kind of still see them now, but. <laughs> um, so anyway, so this is after dipping all of the nails and I'm just gonna dust off any excess powder. And then I'm gonna go in with the step two, which is the activator. And I'm gonna apply this to all of the nails very generously and make sure to cap the tip as well. Um, but this ensures that all of that glue is gonna dry and that you'll be able to file and shape these nails without them coming apart. So after applying that, I let it sit for about two to three minutes. And then after that, the nails are super hard and I can start to file and shape. So this is after the nails have been filed, shaped and buffed. And you wanna go in again with the activator and apply that to all of the nails. And this just ensures that all of the glue is gonna dry, especially if you get to filing and shaping, um, you know, just in case you expose any parts that aren't fully cured. So I let that sit for another two minutes and then I'm just gonna grab a dry paper towel and wipe down the nails. And you wanna make sure to kinda of get any of the excess activator off before you move to the next step. And the next step is the top coat. Usually I use my own top coat, but I decided to go ahead and use this to see how I like it. Honestly, this is just glue. So um, you just apply this in uh, the first layer in like thin short strokes. Apply this all over the nail. And then I let that dry for about maybe three to five minutes. And then you go in with a second coat.
and by the time I got to my second finger, my brush was already hardening up, <laughs> which means that I did not remove all of the activator. So I think next time I'll probably wash my hands and then put on the top because I don't like my brush to harden up but I was still able to put the top coat on all of the nails. And you also wanna make sure to cap the tips because that will stop it from peeling. So because my top coat brush is hardened up now, I'm gonna use the brush saver, which is the step four. And it's basically like nail polish remover that's in here. Um, so I'm just gonna put that hardened brush inside the brush saver and then I'm gonna use the extra brush and put that inside of the top coat for next time. All right, so after letting the nails dry, which took a long time, I think it took about maybe 10 minutes for this to fully dry. Uh, but after that, I'm applying cuticle oil. And this is the finished look. These are so cute and short. Like this is so out the norm for me, but I like it. And I just want you guys to see that these nails are not thick. <laughs> um, but as far as the kit being odorless, I wouldn't say that it has a very strong super glue smell. So just keep that in mind if you wanna try this out. But the colors are bright and vibrant. I really do like how these turned out. They look gorgeous in the sunlight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial and I will talk to you in the next one. This is the outro to the long hair pretty nail show, yeah.